Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I have an unboxing for you and I I haven't been so excited. Well, that's not true. I'm excited to receive all of my my bags. But this one is special because some of you might know how much I love snakes. And the reason that I love them is for their beauty, the colors and their patterns. And so when I saw this one, I thought this was perfect for me. And um, I'm just anxious to see what it looks like because this is a new style for Dooney and Burke. This is a whole new uh, style of bag that they are coming out with. And they have it in several different uh, materials and mediums. They have uh, pebbled leather. They have a new line called City Leather. Um, it is a city bag, and they have it also in a crackle embossed and a python. And they also have it in a embossed woven. So I think I've covered all the different kinds of leathers, and if I haven't, um, somebody please correct me. Uh, okay, so uh, let's get on with it. I'm very excited. I think it's going to be a little big for me because I've seen some pictures of this size. I believe it's the same size on the purse forum. My friends on there are posting their pictures and it's so exciting. Well, first of all, here's the box. I'm trying to open it over here. Be very careful. I was so on the fence about the color too. I really wanted, I liked the gray color, but in the end I chose a different, a little bit of a darker tone. Oh my gosh. I don't think it looks too big. Here we go. And this is what it is. I'll show you the tag. And this is the City Python bag from Bloomingberg. Oh, it's really, really pretty. It's really dark, too. So you can't... I mean, the, the pattern is kind of muted. On the lighter gray color, it's really more pronounced. Uh, I really like this kind of more muted, I think. Um, the texture is very smooth, and... Someone mentioned on the purse form about the scales coming off or lifting up and seeing white underneath. Um, when I feel this, I feel like they don't lift up, but it's kind of, it's got a delicate feel, so maybe they can. There are some spots where it feels like it might be catching on me a little bit, so it's quite possible. The bottom has five feet. It does not have the reinforced pieces of leather underneath them. It's got the new Dooney and Burke text logo. Oh gosh, it's so pretty. I see some spots here where I can see some white in the cracks. I don't know if you can see that, like right there. Um, and also I like to carry bags on my shoulder, so over time with rubbing against my clothing, I don't know if that's going to affect that there, but let's just... Let's just unpack this. Wow, it's so pretty. Sorry guys, I'm just taking it all in. Taking it all in. Okay, so I don't want to unwrap everything just in case I decide that this is too delicate and I would rather have more of an everyday style. But they've packed this really well um, so that it doesn't get smushed in shipping. Because this new city style, and you may have seen... Um, some other videos on YouTube from the Pecan Tan Beauty. She's got the uh, pebbled leather version. 
um, I believe Dooney Addict has one in red. There's um, uh, Deb Story Bags has one in the gray, no, the smoke color. And then there is one other video that's on the caramel color of the Today's Special Value. It's called the, the ones I just mentioned, it's called the Brenna Bag. It's from QVC and it was the Today's Special Value in the same style, but in the pebbled leather version. So, um, they've done great reviews. If you guys want to check their videos out, um, it's basically the same bag as this in design. So, and this is just in a different, oh, they really have packed it with a lot of these, uh, what people call flavoring packets or flavor packets. So, um, Trying to keep the moisture out of it, I guess. So, there it is. It's a great, great size. I can tell already that everything comfortably, of, everything of mine will fit comfortably. So, these are those lovely pockets that are very generous in depth. They do not go all the way to the bottom. They go um, probably to about here, right above the logo, on both sides. And they're very handy, and they're a design element as well. And here's the strap, which has the removable ball center section that you can take out and make it a shoulder bag length versus a crossbody length. The crossbody length, as I understand on these, is very, very long. Uh, so maybe the shoulder option is going to be my choice. A beautiful dark Timoro brown leather handles and trim inside the bag. Inside this front pocket there is a little um, leather leather trimmed like a card slot there for I don't know whatever you want to put in there a driver's license a card business cards it's a great little uh, added feature. The back side pocket does not have that little um, slot and then the inside of the bag is the standard Dooney setup with two slit pockets here without the snap. And then the other side has the zipper pocket and the very nice wide slit pocket. And the interior is a very nice thick gingham lining, which I really, really like when Dooney uses that lining. Um, it's a little thicker feeling than the standard red cotton that they've been using on most of their bags. Here it is. Hmm. It's really pretty. You know guys, I, I my bags are not everyday bags really because I switch out pretty well, I switch out every day. So it sounds like they're everyday bags, but they're not because they each and every one of them does not really get a whole lot of use because I switch so often. Um, so I think something like this I could have and not wear out because I don't wear my bags every day. So uh, I guess it could work. It's just that it's not um, the cheapest bag. So I, I hesitate a little bit because of that. And I was so anxious that I you know, decided to just get it on easy pay to check it out. So there it is. I mean, it's a good, it's a good size looking bag. I'm 5'5", five five, so I'm not that tall. So bags tend to look a little bit bigger on me, I think. Um, so let me see if I'm just going to check out the strap. So if I were to attach this and leave it in the crossbody length, I really don't know if I want to take it all apart. I want to leave this wrapped. In case I decide to send it back, I don't want somebody to get an unwrapped bag. I want them to get a brand new wrapped bag. I don't like to, to use them 
and send them back. I like to send them back right away, um, wrap them back up and stuff them how they were. So you can carry it with the handles both folded forward like that. Um, they can stick up when it's against your body. They can go out like this. Or as Pecan Tan Beauty in her video showed that they can both fold comfortably inside like this and be nice and out of the way. Uh, when I do that, it takes a little force to close the snap, but it does seem to stay closed because it's very nice. These are very uh, heavy duty magnets. So let's just leave it like that for now. And so this is, here, let me see if you can, oops, sorry. This is crossbody here and it, I can actually adjust these both um, up two notches here if I wanted this to go a little shorter. And also on the other buckle, I can adjust it as well. So um, it's got a lot of adjustment capabilities here. This hardware is very nice and substantial. I really like that because some of them have been getting really small, these buckles. So that's nice. So. It's a really big kind of a crossbody bag if you decide to go this way. For shoulder bag, I think it can go like this. And the way the design comes in right here, it does nicely fit on your hip. It just kind of cradles you there. So it's, it's, a, it's a very nice, you know, even though it is a, a got some depth here, in terms of a crossbody bag, I like that it just sits there so nicely. If I lifted it up just a little bit too, it would just really hug that hip. So there she is. Very, very pretty. I think she'll go very nicely with a lot of my boots. So That's just what I wanted to share today, and now I'm going to take this all in a little bit better, and uh, just love the sheen. Look at that. And of course the lights are, no, it's pretty, sh the lights are making it look maybe glossier than it is, but it's pretty glossy. I really do like that. It's so pretty. Okay, guys. Um, Thank you so much for watching. Uh, maybe I'll try to link those other Brenna videos in my description below so you can easily find them. And um, yeah, it's just a great bag. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, I hope you all have a great day. Okay, bye guys. Hey guys, okay, I came back because I was just looking at it and comparing sizes to some of my bags and I thought that might be helpful to you to see uh, for size comparison. So here it is next to the regular size sandwich satchel. So as you can see, it's a pretty comparable size to this bag. Um, it's not even as wide on the base. Now the sandwich comes, it tapers upwards. So Really, if you put it next to it, it looks pretty comparable in size. Um, and then here, I'll show you a couple other ones. Here it is next to the small Florentine satchel. Now, it's maybe comparable somewhat in width, but as you can see, the height it just sits a little bit higher. There are the bottoms. So, um, and then here is the another popular bag, the Olivia satchel. So it's probably, it's not as wide, but it's not as tall either. It's just, it's pretty similar. So uh, it's really not too big, I don't think, for me. I think it's a good size. It will comfortably hold all of my stuff. Uh, let's just compare it to the Logo Lock Hobo because a lot of you know what that bag looks like. And there it is. Lexington. 
So obviously the Lexington is very slender and that really does impact the size and how much it holds. So I just wanted you to see that. So, uh, here's Dooney's Little Hobo. This is a pretty small sized hobo. So there you go. I just thought that might help for you to see some comparisons in size. So um, I think that's it for now. Signing off for good. And thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.